Oh, hey, I'm Dave, and on this installment of Summer Racing Quick Flicks, we're going to talk about the basics of nitric systems. Now, we get a lot of questions regarding wet nitric systems, dry nitric systems, fogger systems, direct port systems, plate systems, and, you know, what the difference is between all these different types of setups. So, uh, we'll start by talking about wet nitric systems versus dry nitric systems, the two main types of nitric systems out there. Wet nitrous systems come with uh, it's their own fuel components, uh, which allow you to introduce more fuel uh, to your intake charge and then increase horsepower that way. Dry nitrous systems, on the other hand, don't come with fuel components. They actually utilize your factory or existing uh, fuel system components. And uh, they'll actually alter your uh, factory fuel curve or they'll draw more fuel out of your injectors by creating more impulses from the nitrous solenoid. Uh, dry nitrous systems are generally uh, more easy to set up with the two simply because you don't have the added fuel components to install. Uh, now let's move on and talk about the different delivery methods for nitrous. And this is where you get into plate systems versus direct port systems versus fogger systems. Uh, so first let's start with the, the plate type systems. Uh, with a plate type nitrous system, you essentially have a bar, a spray bar that's mounted on a square plate. And this plate mounts either between your carburetor and intake manifold or your throttle, throttle body and intake. And it injects the nitrous into the incoming airstream. Uh, for a direct port system, nitrous is actually injected into each individual engine cylinder uh, through individual injectors. And uh, yeah. For plate systems, they're generally the easier of the two to install. Uh, the direct port systems are more accurate, there's better distribution of the nitrous, and therefore they're more powerful. However, they're, they're usually more expensive and they're much, much more difficult to install than a plate system. Uh, taking it one step further, you also have fogger systems, which kind of work off the direct port system. Uh, these essentially atomize the fuel a little bit more finely, so you get just a little bit more horsepower for your dollar off of this. Now, if you have more questions about nitrous systems or any other high performance related topic, feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. For more quick flicks, visit the Summit Racing YouTube channel. Visit Summit Racing online at www.summitracing.com. Follow on Twitter at twitter.com slash summit racing or like Summit Racing on Facebook at facebook.com slash summit racing equipment.